Hi, welcome to Utter Tribe with your host, Yaz and Steph, and we're bringing you Confessions of a Raw Fed Dog Mum. Hi everyone and welcome back to Utter Tribe. I'm your host, Yaz. And I'm Steph and we're bringing you Confessions of a Raw Fed Dog and Ferret Mum. Ah, yes. Well, that new introduction is a little hint of what we're going to be discussing first. So, um, obviously, everyone knows that we have ferrets, um, as well as dogs and guinea pigs and rabbits and Ooh. birds. and got anything else? I think, no, I think that's it, isn't it, between us? Uh, I've got a, a man-child. A man-child. Um, does well listen to this podcast? No. No, I too have a man child because my <laughs> husband doesn't listen to this podcast either. Because actually, they're lucky enough to listen to us all the time. That I, all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we went to uh, a champ show. Obviously, we missed our last champ show. If you go back a few episodes to uh, Metal Gate with Peggy, we'll explain why we missed the last champ show. So, we went back to a champ show. So, we were up and Adam. Uh, was it half six i think for us quarter past five for you because you're hilarious um and we went down to nottingham to yeah. ashfield is it Ash ashfield ashfield yeah ashfield ferret club and we showed our ferrets so um the things we could just talk through kind of the things that we did to prep so for me i um bathed the girls the night before i did a little oatmeal bath so basically porridge oats in a sock over a tap ran the tap and it turned into this lovely oatmeal bath it does it it's really soothing for their skin it's not overly perfumed because sometimes i use things like um the herbal dog company shampoo or i'll use oh I've used the what dog. is uh, Dermadog, yeah, that's it. Mm. Um, so I only use a tiny little bit because obviously uh, ferrets need the oils on the coat. You don't want to completely strip everything away. So you use a tiny little bit, but you don't want to smell perfume. So that's why I went with oatmeal and kind of like rubbed the sock over them afterwards, uh, which I did stream on my Instagram. And um, Pan was absolutely having none of it. She was like, this is bullshit. I hate you. You're not my mum. Um. Uh, I will kill you. And I was like, right, okay, Ad Addy, can you come get Pam Pam, please? <laughs> <laughs> Pam Pam was ready for war. Uh, Mitzi, though, loved it. She was just like, la, 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 la. I'm splashing in the water. This is quite fun. I was like, oh, my God, you're so cute. You're so yeah. cute. Um, so did that. They drive really quickly anyway. I'd already done the nails about five days before because they don't like them uh, too long nor too short. Depending on I don't which know what they want. we speak to, I don't. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. So, Steph, touch the table. Don't touch the table. Not yeah. pointy. Not sharp. Not sharp. Not dull. Not square. not dull. Not square. Rounded. Rounded, but not square. These are perfect. I'm thinking there's a square nail in there. Like I'm. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, judge's preference mm. comes into it massively. So I would say I did quite a quite a bit of prep and clean their ears and everything. Steph, do you want to go through kind of your your prep routine? Do you want to go through your prep routine? Yeah. So um for this yeah. for this mm. show, I yeah. I, I mm. got up at quarter past five and Yeah she did, yeah, yeah. Mm. Came to work. <laughs> I I, yeah. I pushed mm. the buttons in, in and turned the key and opened the door, turned the lights on yeah mm. and then walked around to the to the cage um right, woke, okay, woke yeah, them yeah. up and they went for a wee and a poo yeah mm. and then and then, and then I, I very carefully chose the carefully. ferrets that were taken carefully chose the ferrets right yeah with your sofa i'm just taking notes Let's yeah. just <laughs> choose the ferret and, carefully yeah mm -hmm. um and then i opened um I open very, very difficult at this point. Open the travel cage up and yeah. slung two Which is in just there. like it, just like a cat carrier, isn't it? Yeah, very similar to a cat yeah. carrier, but it's a ferret carrier. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, slung two ferrets in there. Shut the door and um, got in the car and drove off. So some of you may have noticed there's quite a few gaps there in in the prep. <laughs> 
because what I'm hearing is you got the phrase put them in the travel box and then went to the show. Is that I don't I don't want to misconstrue anything. Oh yeah, and then I, just... I, I turned the lights off and locked the door again. Right. Okay. So, um, basically, what you're saying is that there was actually n no prep. Am I am I right in saying that? I mean, some may say that. Some. some... So, I think. I think everyone <laughs> would say that. To be honest, so that ends up having done not a single bit of prep with no. with their ferrets. So we get get to the ferret show. Um and it's um it's it's like near enough full, isn't it? Like there was, it was... four four uh, three hundred and ninety six ferrets that competed. Was it three hundred and ninety six ferrets at that show? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, some of some of the people who go, so like their breeders, they literally have like two tables with deer cages, and they'll have like five five or six ferrets depending on size. In each, in each one so, and then they've got all the carriers underneath so the table that we were next to they were a really lovely couple yeah. um and they were really lovely to me like when i went when i went on my own to a show and everything they're really sweet they took um 28 29 28 and that was that was half of the amount of ferrets it shows that they have um so that's that's not uncommon people do bring a lot of ferrets the more ferrets you have the better your chances are so of course um we turn up we have the girls in they're actually old uh guinea pig cages um and they're they're ginormous so mm. they each have their own uh, studio penthouse suite um and this is one of the one of the stewards that came over again another lovely lady and she went i just think it's so funny that you've got this setup for four ferrets between the two of you and i was like yeah and she's like you should probably get some more and i was like yeah and adam's like no 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 more um so yeah that basically fills out the hall now now ferret showing is different to dog showing so explain to people why it's different so ferret showing is like cat showing um there is there is a couple of differences though so dog showing is with the um handler and the dog so you are together going around the ring um cat showing if you've if you've ever been is where cats are presented in a um in a in a cage crate and everything is plain so you're not allowed to have any distinctive things that would mark a cat as a particular breeders or owners and mm -hmm. the judge they everybody leaves and then the judges go around and they'll take it every cat out ferret showing um very similar to that is where you will be called upon for your class in your number and then you will raise your ferret in the air and that steward will come <laughs> and take your ferret away to the judge in the different room and then your ferret will be judged on is it eight different eight different categories there was um yes. so there's um temperament yeah uh, confirmation coat yep. nails yep. teeth yep. eyes yeah class conformity so depending yep. on like what class you've put them into how well do they fit with the class yeah that they're in and his nose one nose i don't know, I'm I know they check for the nose. yeah yeah that it's, it's about that so, oh ears sorry ears. ears it won't be nose it'll be it'll be ears so um we went for so the guy who well, one of the main guys that runs the show said if there's any newbies here if you want to come to the front i'm going to show you you know basically what we're looking for mm -hmm and um he there was obviously me and you and we took our ferrets because use it as an example and then uh there was another lady there with the most fantastic looking hobs yeah. uh, hobs are a male ferret they're very big they've got these beautiful oh. round faces very oh gorgeous they stink but um <laughs> <laughs> and he said right so he was like this is what we're looking for he was like we'll look at teeth so he like obviously you know moved their ferret's head back and up like lifted the its lip up and i honestly thought this ferret's i thought his his mouth was bleeding so it wasn't yeah. it was red oh. raw and like one of his teeth at the back was like it was almost green yeah so and he so was this ferret yeah. had been fed kibble 
um mm. it wasn't it wasn't a raw fed ferret and mm. um much like dogs and cats if you are not feeding a species appropriate diet the tartar mm. will build up quicker yeah mm. so he said he was like look so we've got this stain in here on the teeth you know you'll lose you'll lose marks for that did he say about the gum line he didn't say anything about the gum line but i mean that but it was, was yeah raw and she went like she looked and she was like oh god like, so she didn't even realize how because they look right at the back they look at the molars at the back are they molars molar yeah molars at the back um so he, she was like oh how do i make them better he's like you need to be feeding whole prey mm. raw meaty bones says that's the only way that you're gonna clean their teeth properly and she was like right he said sometimes this can happen if they have a lot of fine minces <laughs> he said and that's when he said what do you feed and she said that she fed a biscuit so he said try and encourage him to eat some raw meat bones and then i gave mitzi over um and he was just saying right okay so this is what we're looking at on the nails he was like we want see depending on which judge you speak to there's going to be a different answer yeah. some like them short so when the paw is on the table the nails aren't touching out touching on the table some like them a little bit longer so they are gently touching but it's not impeding the function of the foot and um, you've got to make sure there's no like muck under the nails yeah. just you want them to be nice and clean. clean it was like looking at the ears so ferrets they do have very greasy kind of oily ears they do need their ears cleaning it was like i'm not looking right down the ear canal he was like we don't want to be shoving cotton buds down there but in their ears they've got like little folds like um it's quite similar to a dog ear, I yeah, think. A, you know, yeah. all, all without being soft... folded over. Yeah, with that, with all the little soft skin folds in, and you'd be surprised mm. in the little crevices, muck. Um, so a lot of people use baby wipes to clean them out. We yes. um, use the Adios pet wipes, um, just because they're a. a uh, less less toxic um less less chemically uh so those are the ones that we use to kind of clean out the rears and then what's the other thing that they were checking for he was like and then i think he took did you have rebel or trouble i had rebel yeah so then he was showing like coat and stuff and checking did he mention about making sure that the the bits and pieces were clean uh he didn't but he said um you know a lot oh no i took i took did it take did it take trouble in? I can't remember. Anyway, he said about and putting talcum powder in coats to make them look more white and clean. Yes. Um, so they'll blow in you the know, coat. There's all the tricks tricks in Yeah, they'll yes. they'll blow in the coat to make sure that they can't see any talcum powder. But also when you blow on the coat, it's a good it's a good way to like look at the skin, make sure the skin's nice, that there's not any kind of like mm. oily build ups there. There's See, depending sometimes they'll allow for little scratches especially if they're babies and they've been playing or whatever like that so there's a yeah. there's a certain allowance for stuff but um but not much but yeah that's that that's what they're looking for so we then kind of got we just got settled in it's a case of just sitting and just chilling and then waiting for making sure you're listening out for the class numbers because they run different classes at the same time and then yeah just kind of put your hand in the air put your ferret in the air and they will go and take your ferret Again. into another room to be judged mm -hmm. and then they'll call out the winners of that class and then they'll move on to the next class but then there's like a a sheet where you can go and find out how your ferret scored <sighs> <laughs> i mean side eye side eye <laughs> so so mine um, actually oh yes did very well mm, um very well i had trouble placed a third yeah placed a third and she lost two points and um one was for nails yeah because because there was, a bit of muck, there was a bit of muck under her nails and we couldn't get yes. it um without because i didn't have a nail file that reminds me i need to put a file in our mm. in our showing bag um and the other she's one got the lost... most beautiful coat yes and the other one she lost for um temperament which to be honest they're kits so that could have been down to the fact that she was wiggly um yeah. it, my ferrets don't have a bad bone in their body like legit you would be hard pushed to get them to bite you 
Um, you'd have yeah, to yeah. really, really, really do some horrible to end. Yeah, they are yeah, yeah. not. They're not. They're soft you know, and lovely, oh aren't they? Oh my god, they're absolutely ridiculous. So it's probably because she wasn't. Like, so when they when you hold them under, I'm I've got my hand up as if you guys on the podcast can see this. Um, <laughs> but you're like holding them under their armpits, if you like. So their yeah. body's going to dangle under, and the legs, the front legs, are going to be above your hand. And uh, so yeah, if they're not perfectly dangly, um that could have been a po it was a point it wasn't anything else so ultimately with her being third if i'd have trimmed her nails mm -hmm. she could have definitely could been have in second or first second yeah 100 percent because she's got such a bonny face as well she's got a lovely coat mm -hmm. um what else did um and she, was that out of that was out of a class of 13 i think that was out of a class of 13 um because she's what they call a silver jill so they're as i'm as i'm learning apparently the type of silver that she is there isn't many around nowadays so yeah it's very unusual yeah she's a lovely lovely example of mm -hmm. a silver jill so she did really well and then um when <laughs> when they were calling out who'd who'd placed the stuff she's placed first or fourth and she was like, third, we've got uh, Steph and Trouble. And I went, at that thumped you, you turned around and went, shut up. And I was like, go get your rules out for God's sake. I honestly you was not third. expecting it. No, I know you weren't. I, yeah, I thought because I hadn't done anything with them and mm. these people you know in the show world you as as i've shown my accent so i know exactly what it's like it is not about prepping the night before you go to a show this is no. months worth of work that goes into these mm -hmm. shows and yes although there might be more to do up into the show it is not just an overnight thing so the people are thinking about this all year round they're thinking mm -hmm you know where where they are what they're doing you know certainly like when i ha when i did the dogs they had a treadmill so i was conditioning certain muscle groups that i may have wanted to work on um you know and all these things that it is just it becomes part of your life i would say when you're showing animals it's not just a yeah i mean you can go and enjoy it but don't be too disappointed because these people spend a lot are you are you all right there Oh, oh, oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Crikey, Moses! Crikey. So I find that it's really easy for someone who placed third to say, "Oh, don't be disappointed if you don't place because you place." I, I said didn't that in place. the car, though. I did say that in the car before we got there. I said that before we went. Actually, I said, "Do you really <laughs> want to go?" Because you know, I can see you being upset. No. I'm not upset. I'm fine. So we had a bit of an incident on on show day with them um, with Pam Pam in mm. particular. So, <laughs> so I say that. Yeah. Mm. So Pam Pam didn't place, and I was and I was good because she's she's gorgeous, and um, I wanted to know why. I wanted to know why she didn't place. So you go up and you look at your sheep. And I was like, zero for teeth. Zero, zero for teeth. I thought her teeth are stunning. I've taken her to the bloody dog groomers to have ultrasonic cleaning done on those teeth. Why is she not, you know, why has she got a zero? And then it went across, like, and there's sometimes they'll put comments. And, um, and the comment was, couldn't look in mouth. And I was like, what is this? And one of the judges came over and she was like everything all right ducky and i went well, i was like what does this mean zero couldn't look in her mouth and she went oh it means that they couldn't get into her mouth and i was like again what what does that mean she was like so she was trying to bite the judges i was like oh all right okay so i came back and told steph and adam and they laughed in my face <laughs> well adam adam did a big hearty laugh in my face <laughs> and i was like i went through I went through the motions of it. There may have been things banded around like this is on the judges, not on Pam, because she's yeah. my angel. 
and um there was a couple of phrases kind of thrown around um now i've come out the other side of that i do realize that pan has to work on being handled with others but it's so difficult because um obviously i don't want anyone to get bit um so it's finding someone that has the confidence to handle the creature um that that isn't me because she'll let me look but she just she has an aversion to everyone else that's not me which is and then i was doing the helicopter motion yep <laughs> because she'd be oh, there's helicopter mom, yes. yep yep i was because i thought this is an outrage um we've got up at half past six in the morning uh traveled an hour and a half um for you to decide not to open your mouth and try and knock a judge is that do you think that's funny and pan was like ah oh, yawn i'm going to bed my work is done and i was like you absolute witch um but spoke to the breeder because the breeder was there and i was like listen have you got any psychotic lines in her lines and she went no like the mum and dad were uh, absolutely sound it was like it, she was like it was a really easy going litter she was like there's nothing um so we talked about how she was very head shy when i first got her because her mum had over groomed her um so we've um well i've worked a lot on kind of building up a confidence with the head being touched so she's fine with me touching her head other people however she doesn't like it when people go over her head so she was thinking um so the breeder was holding her um and she said you can feel how tense she is I said this is what she does mm. and she said it might be a little bit of nerves so to try some valerian with her i've actually mm. got some door west valerian compound oh. um, not too much though not too much she said only a little bit she says because they can go the other way and fight the um the kind of calming effect so obviously i don't want to sedate the ferret i just want to take kind of the edge off um so i'm gonna sorry i've got something there um i'm gonna see how she gets on because we've got we've got another show this sunday it's not a champ show it's just a rescue um it's a rescue run show it's good practice for the ferrets and it's nice for me and you to get out and do yes. you know spend the day with the, stinkies. The, the more people that can handle her the better um yeah in my opinion anyway in the right way because i think i think you know she needs a certain type of handling because she can smell fear Am oh I yeah on? she yeah that's i think that's why she knocks adam so much because she can tell if you're frightened of her mm. um i mean i i knew she was i knew she chose death on the morning i came to pick you up because i put my hand in and she bit me um i went oh you've chosen death today <laughs> oh uh, um, sometimes like, she wakes up and she's fine mitzi's like la 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 mitzi's just the most gorgeous like i can trust it with kids like she's yeah. all she wants to do is kiss she's absolutely phenomenal and even if she's in a giddy mood and i go bah, 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 like that in her face like if she if she messes it's so gentle you don't even see the the indent however pam pam she mm. do the like in flesh she likes flesh mm. so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna see how she gets on um even if it gets to a point where do you know what she really doesn't like being shown i just i just want to show her i just want and to you show do, her even you though get those animals that don't like it my youngest <laughs> actually hates the show ring and <laughs> she's a she's a fabulous example of dachshund a, da a mini yeah. long dachshund and it's such a shame um but she doesn't like it so i'm i don't, yeah. I don't force her to go do it it's not enjoyable no. for her but it's not enjoyable for me no and that's the thing it's like it's sad like when if she if she's not enjoying herself then it's like it just makes me a bit sad because i'm like why why am i doing it what's yeah. what's the point she's she's quite i mean she loved being at the show yes. because obviously there's loads of ferrets around her she's like oh my god this is great but then she'd have like a nap and then she gets to come sit on me and she gets strokes and she gets treats and stuff like that mm. so it is like a nice day out for him um but obviously if she's if she's not going to take to other people handling her then then, that, well, I, then well, that's I, what it I is. will um i will start my prep i'm gonna do um my secret show um prep that i used to do for the dogs <laughs> i think I, I i'm gonna leave the nails i don't think 
No, I, I mean, I've cut my nails only because they were yeah. due. Um, yeah. But that was, I, I cut them on Monday, I think. Cut them earlier yeah. in the week. I mean, they are now very short. So I'm probably going to yeah. penalise for them being short. So yeah. it is what you it can't, is. You can't bloody win, can you? But, um, like, so Pan's carrying a little extra weight at the moment, even though mitzi eats more mitzi's in perfect like so mm. when you look at a ferret and you hold them underneath the armpits you want them to be a straight straight up and down um whereas during winter um they can they can have like this winter podge on them they look like um, a yeah they get like a pear shape to mm. them so obviously if they do have if they deviate away from that straight line you lose a point because i think pan lost a point but saying that she went into the members class but because i got her out literally as she was sleeping like just woke her yes. up and then she was ready to go she was fine and she let the judges look in her mouth and she got nine for her teeth yeah and i'm just like surely because i think crikey if she needs a wee like she's gonna boo off mm. but that might be the way to do it rather than fussing her before she goes in because we were literally giving her loads of salmon oil just gave her a load of salmon oil and then handed it to the steward and she was still trying to bloody knack him. So, oh, oh cute things. So that, cute is, things. That, is the, that is the ferret showing. However, mm. there is, I hear, a big um, a big dog show coming up. Is there? Is there a big dog show? You know, it's at what time did we start? How long have we been going on this podcast? I couldn't tell you. Ten past, I think. Ten past. We're going to have to go into another one. We're gonna to have to go into another one. I did, oh, I oh. thought a ferret a ferret one would go. Um, but yeah, there is a big dog show coming up. I think there is it's a big called Rufts, is it? I'll never catch on. Trufts. Yufts. Is it Yufts? I think it's Crufts. I think I might be on to a winner there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we still need to talk about yes. our show prep um but it's a different kind of show prep because we're not actually showing any animals we are just there with our dogs so mm -hmm. we'll leave it there for now mm. that is that is the ferret showing um discussed hopefully well we'll see what sunday brings see what sunday brings yes. and see see if pan tries to kill anyone um and see if you can get a first if you've uh with you with the ferret's nails so well i think i might have trimmed them a bit too short but it is what it is and end That's of the day is. i've put them into adult classes instead of kit classes as well hang on i thought you were putting them in kit no i've put them in i've put them in silver jill and pole cap right okay i need i still need to put mine in basically um, that means that i always won't compete against each other ah right okay. okay so if if we all went in kit all four of ours would go up against each other oh that's horrible so what i've done is i've put mine in silver and pole cap and then you could go colored and kit and put pan in kit yeah yeah right which I'll would allow for her behavior a little bit more yeah we love baby, it baby She's a bit. She's just a baby. Just a baby. <laughs> uh, just she's a baby. mauling the judge's throat. Sorry, I'm just going to remove my ferret from your jugular. <laughs> just just a second. A baby. <laughs> 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 God, yeah. almighty. What have we got ourselves in for? Right, so we'll love you and leave you guys. Thanks so much for joining us um, on this episode of Butter Tribe. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on social media. You know the drill. And we will see you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell to keep up to date with our latest raw adventures.